Hello, Lauren. Nice to meet you in the cyberspace realm. Uh, this will be some video feedback on Milestone 1, which is the logo. And I'll also uh, talk a little bit about your uh, developing website. Uh, Lauren, I, I like that you gave us a lot of variety in, in your logo sketching. And uh, <clears throat> to seeing your website and, and also to your biography, um, it puts it in the context, uh, which is children's book illustration, correct? So I think it seems appropriate for that. Let's go through some of these um, variations. I think um, where your name is spelled out might be best. I would be careful about distorting type like this. This looks like a, a typeface that you've twisted on it and access. Um, just you know, keep it as un, undistorted as possible. This might be nice too. Um, <clears throat> You have a, a clear illust illustrative style, so I don't, you know I don't I'm not qualified. I feel to really comment on that. Uh, this is what you gave us in terms of PDFs and the flying unicorn rainbow. I'm sure appeals to um, children. Uh, again, you know, <clears throat> think about the typefaces you use. Try not to distort them. This looks a little bit sloped. Uh, this could also be effective. Again, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm, I'll tell you what my favorite is, but I really don't feel qualified to comment too much on them. Okay, so I think um, this would be my favorite. I'm going to open one of them up in uh, Illustrator. You very kindly um, gave me your logos in Illustrator so I can see how they're constructed. That's useful. Um, one of them, I'm missing a font, so <clears throat> remember that you have to convert them to outline format uh, f for them to be useful in Illustrator. So I'm just going to close through that. One thing I noticed, uh, and this may not, this may be counter to your illustrative style, but have you th thought about using uh, a brush filter on some of these? Um, you may like this clean, linear, evenly weighted uh, outline. Um, but you might give it a little bit more life by doing the following. I've gone up here, I've opened up uh, the brushes dialog box. It looks like this. See what happens if I select this this feature and make it, oh, well, that's not, that's not good either. Uh, but it softens the line and you, you know, you can, you can edit the line too. That's a chalk streak. Uh, there are other, there's many, many, many uh, brushes that you can use. It just might give your lines a little bit more character. See, this is slightly calligraphic, and the weight of them might change. It might be just a little less monotonous than these perfect, perfect lines. Try this. Uh, you know, here here's a, a a line filter, and it just it might give your some of your lines a little bit more character. Just a suggestion, Lauren. When I opened up your uh, website, your developing website, um, I it, it all made sense, and I, I love the examples of your illustration, child's illustration. So, uh, um, I think you know, strive for some of the softness maybe uh, of your illustrations in your logo. Uh, that's the only difference really that I noticed, and it looks like it would be easy for you to put your branding suite somewhere in here. Uh, you know, even if it's just uploading a couple images with the captions so that we can all take a look at it from a you know, central source. Good job.